Reverse cowgirl. You don't like it? That's fine. My dick's not big enough for certain positions. It's not a reverse cowgirl. Like it, love it, gotta have it. You know what I was thinking about the other day? What? Did McDonald's, they did freedom fries. Was that real? What are you, was say, that, what are you saying? Didn't McDonald's do freedom fries? There was like a hot minute, early 2000, where they're like, these aren't french fries. They're freedom fries. Were they like blue and white? And did they no, have like they just eagles called on them? them freedom fries, which is just such a funny... Please fact check me because I get all my news from Snapchat like an idiot. Or was it McDonald's? Freedom I don't know. Fries. I just, or, or was that an American thing? I just think that's so funny to be like, these ain't French fries. They're freedom fries. Look at that photo. This guy just has a sign that says freedom. Websites need less ads. Me, Nobody's going to click the buddy, fucking ad. Let me ask you a question. How many cookies you just been accepting recently? All of them. All of Where them. Where were they before this? Were they just sliding them under the rug? I yeah. think, yeah, I think really? they're sliding them under the rug. And now Apple or whatever was like, we need to change it well, or the yeah. internet. What yeah. happens if you don't accept the cookies? <laughs> Bitch, I'm gluten free. Get these hoes out of here. Technically, they're supposed to be able to track you on the internet less. But so, because what happens is like, you go to a website, you accept cookies, and then you go to another website and yeah. everyone knows all the previous websites and what stuff you look at so they can sell you more shit. But they make it, when you do the, the managed cookies thing now, they try to make it look like press this button so that you don't have cookies, yeah, but it actually there's, means there's ways cookies, around it. Please. Well, now they're not even trying to hide it. When you download a new app, they're like, hey, do you mind if we just steal all your data? Do you mind if we share that with our competitors? It's do you, like, do you no. say yes? No, yes. I say no. Yes, I know. But it's like, I don't know what my what would change my life if I would have said like, yes. You know what pissed me off? What? I fell for an Instagram ad the other day, but I still get the ads. I'm like, you guys already won. You guys already fucked my ex-girlfriend and Whoa. you're still plowing her. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Did you, so you bought something off Instagram? So, I, so it's actually something we talked about, Athletic Greens, right? You did it? I did it. Because yes. you were talking about it and then I was like, oh, this is gonna be a good thing. I'm gonna be traveling a lot, da 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 This isn't an ad for them or anything. But after we had that conversation, yeah. It showed up on people's phones. And I swear to God, if y'all fucking listening, probably gonna get some Athletic Greens ads, all right? So I got a few ads, I got a few ads, and then eventually the other night I was like, all right, I've been wanting to do this, fuck it. It's a healthy thing, I'm gonna get it. Yeah. I, and, I, and I was like, boom, you win. And I did it through an Instagram ad. Yeah. Next day, still getting ads. No. <laughs> right, you guys won. What? You won. I don't know. It's over. It, that's what I'm it's saying. It's over. It's but over. You already chopped my head off. I've never You're had that. You chopped my head off again. That's what I'm saying. You can't beat a dead horse. But that's what it felt like. I was like, "What? You guys won. Why am I still getting ads for this?" Maybe they want to buy more. All right. You want some? <laughs> yeah, I'll take some. But I had never fallen into an Instagram ad, and for some reason, my dumb brain, I thought it was just going to be like, "Yes, we will leave you alone now, Trevor. You, you, you win, and so do we." But doesn't that make sense? sense though can't they just like shut like once, shut it down yeah once you buy it mm -hmm. it's not it's like it's so you would like, think it's over right i i don't know now they're just wasting their marketing the, uh yeah, i mean i guess i would love to well, know they're the not because they just got a shot on the 17th <laughs> 16th 12th 12th biggest comedy podcast dude 12th biggest comedy podcast on right now spotify we're the 39th biggest podcast in the world right now what that's not even real to me i don't wow. even understand that and we all have massive cocks i don't know if those are correlated well here's the funny thing about <laughs> massive cock it's, it's all about context if i go to a middle school i got a massive cock and you're also probably going <laughs> to 25 to life but you know what i'm saying i yeah it's all about like if i go big fish small pond exactly big cock small pond it's okay. the name of my first special. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you a big fish, small pond guy? Or are you kind of... No, it's, it means nothing to me. Well, when I hear that, I think about like the guy who like played varsity three years in high school who still like goes to the football games on Friday six years later. Oh, no. To like, me, he's big dog, you know? Well, to me, to me, that's like being like the funniest dude in like Alaska. Wichita. yeah. Or which, whatever, you yeah. know? They're like, yeah, it's cool but like does that right. it doesn't matter right 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 it, it does matter i'm not like belittling that i'm just saying like your you're... motherfuckers really bobbing for apples was that really a thing I've I've, have it. you ever bobbed for i've apple? done it yeah very weird but like you only do it as a kid there's no like adults being like Cynthia, you need a hair tie you fucking freak bitch it is kind of kinky yeah i mean do you hands tied up fucking ha, la, 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 the noises do you tie your hands or do you just clasp your hands? i do what <laughs> 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 but what else are you supposed to do with them? Just hold, hold your hands. legs up? <laughs> well, I'm hard. 
What do you, I haven't you hold fu- the bucket? I, dude, I haven't fucked since Christmas break. Why? Because I was in, in fucking D.C. not with my girlfriend. Oh, you flew during... Yeah. She wasn't there? No. Nah, Were you guys was, doing like dirty texts? Like Santa's not the only one not, coming down your not chimney? Not really. Really? No dirt. Not even not really. Like, no you jerk off in the jerk off closet? I was just... Oh! I'm so <laughs> happy that you reminded me. So... <laughs> All I did was talk about coming on this podcast. Wow. <laughs> so... Speaking of the famous jerk off closet, yeah, that I had when I was a kid, it's gonna be a shrine. It should be. You should shoot a special in there. Um, and then it just come <laughs> out of the closet. You call it stalactite five. I love this. Stalactite. I got, I got hey, stalactite five, hey, and there's only five minutes. Okay. Hey. Oh, who's this? Who? Oh, whatever. It doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So I was in my closet because <clears throat> you know how like <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but the basketball card market went sky high over the pandemic. Yeah. And I go. When I heard about this, I go, dude, I used to collect basketball cards. Yeah. I probably have basketball cards that are worth money, right? Yeah. But every single time I went home, I always forgot. This time, didn't forget. So I went in my closet, and my brother lived in the house longer than me. He was there when I was gone already. So he used my closet as like a sports authority. Okay. There's shit fucking everywhere in there, right? So it took me, so I'm making all noise. My mom comes in, my brother's coming in, what are you doing, right? Just all in the closet? <laughs> no, 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 no. My, my brother and my mom are outside the closet, right? And so I'm moving stuff, and my mom looks at the floor... And goes, Michael, what? What is all that <laughs> on the ground? And my brother has listened to this podcast. He knows exactly <laughs> what it is. So Your I'm mother, like, that's a village. So I'm. <laughs> that's Atlantis. And buddy, many seamen have died. Here's the interesting thing, is I forgot that it is not just in my closet. What do you mean? It it flows out. A good three what do you feet. Mean? I do like not a third know. Third grade volcano I, science project. I don't know how, how it got there. I don't know. Do you come like a sprinkler on a Saturday lawn? Just I come a lot. <clears throat> That's a pretty good sound effect. I come. Me too. Um, Is there a <clears throat> dildo just called I come? It. I mean, it. I mean, no. Jesus Christ! It, well, it Gabe, should be even activity. What are you saying to me? The come. So it's it's three feet. The the dried. Uh, you know, little dots of semen are three feet to three and a half feet outside of the closet as well. Which How? I dog. I, I think. Do you, I think I was. I think I was jerking off with the door open, and I came. I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know carpet? how it got. No, it's all hardwood, baby. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So you can. I don't know if you ever seen come on a hardwood. It's no. Okay. Well, I'll show you. <laughs> it's. It's. Uh, it's. It's shocking. It, it Do you looks, have photos of it? I don't. I can't wait till your mom tries to sell the house and <laughs> redo your whole wood floor. Because oh, dude. Of it. it. I mean, the the sad thing is, I don't think she's gonna try to redo it. She's gonna try to clean it, and that is gonna be the f- funniest moment of my life. <sighs> so my mom goes, "What's that on the ground?" And I'm looking down, and I immediately I know exactly what she's talking about. Yeah. And that's the moment that I looked outside of the closet, and it's it's overflowing, and my brother's like smirking. Because he knows exactly what it is again. And my mom keeps asking me. And I'm like, Mom, I, I don't know. And I'm like in the midst of like trying to get this. Change in the subject real oh, quick. Of course. Yeah, I'm like, Mom, yeah. I don't. What, do you well, well, what time's breakfast? Where are we? Denny's? I yeah. hope. I need to feel about Joe Biden. Like I was just Rock, like. Paper, scissors. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just try to, try to. And then I'm. Yeah. And I'm trying to get like the, the chest of. Because I have this massive chest of basketball cards out. And. Uh, chest. Yeah. It's like a. You know. A chest. I know. But like you have that many. Oh, I have a lot. I want some Pirates of the Caribbean shit. Oh, let me tell you something. Your boy, chest. your boy looked through that chest and went on eBay to see how much all these cards are worth. I got, I got like a down payment of a house in are that. You for real? Yes. Have you started selling them? No, I don't. I don't know hey, what. I don't. I don't know what to do because I feel like the basketball card market's like like the stock market. Like it's gonna go up. So. so you think? Oh, so yeah. really? So I mean, that. you had this thing that you didn't, or that you completely forgot that you had, and you know it's worth a thing right this second. Sell them. Really? But, yeah. but but my but my thinking is why don't I just keep them there for another ten years? They're gonna appreciate. You don't know that though. Yeah, but dude, but but the cards I have will. Like I have a Kobe Bryant rookie card. Like that's my I don't know if you guys know this, but my my man is D E A D. So it's only going up, baby. 
Okay. To the moon. There's probably a better way to look at this. <laughs> uh, well, why don't you sell some of the miscellaneous motherfuckers like Muggsy Bogues and be like, yo, let's get Muggsy some fucking. Well, none of those gold. are worth. None of those are worth anything. The the, the the market's like you either have like a Shaquille O'Neal rookie card that's like five hundred dollars, or you have a or you have a card that's worth like fifteen. Why don't you G's? list it on a website where it's like or best offer? Well, not or best offer, but like you can like be like, eh, I'm good. Eh, okay, that's too much. Or like, a, can you do a, that a on eBay? Or face, Facebook Marketplace? No, eBay. I think you have to. Well. Well, there's a certain like bar. It's like if it doesn't hit a certain bar, then you know. Right, but once it hits, you, I can't. I dude, can't you take do the it out. Facebook Marketplace, and that's when people just DM me and be like, "How much? Is this worth it?" Da, da, da. Yeah, but but in my head, right? There's this there's this Ken Griffey card that I have. Ken Griffey rookie card. Junior? Um, no, senior. Yeah, junior. <laughs> oh, is there know. a senior? Mm -hmm. Did he play baseball too? Yeah. Oh Jesus, I'm dumb. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, you didn't know. Hold on to your baseball cards. They're you didn't know there was a senior. How did you do it with Bitcoin? What do you mean? How was your Bitcoin sales? How did you do? Did you clean up? No. Okay. Well, I'm listen doing to fine. me. I'm a financial guru. <laughs> <laughs> Sell the cards. God damn. Oh, we're doing tour dates later in the episode. You guys were like, whoa, are they even on tour? They sure are, ladies and gentlemen. Nashville sold out. Phoenix. Wow. Just added January 14th through the 15th. Come out, four shows. It's a Friday, Saturday. Gearing up. That's the last weekend right before the special. Uh, not the special. I wish I was getting a special. Right before the tour. And we got just going to fire off New Orleans, Tampa, Orlando, Milwaukee, Chicago, Washington, Pittsburgh, Columbus, Royal Oak, Michigan, St. Louis, Kansas City, Minneapolis, Sacramento, Portland, Seattle, New York, Boston, Durham, Atlanta, Buffalo, Toronto, Huntington, uh, Huntington, New York, Philadelphia, Baltimore, San Diego, Los Angeles. If you heard your city on that list, go to TrevorWallsComedy.com. Check out the date. And get some tickets. Tickets are flying. There's already a few venues sold out. I think I think Chicago just sold out. Nuts. <laughs> so I'll see you guys at TrevorWallsComedy.com. But now, Mr. Two Fine Blast Sign, also on tour. Two Fine Blast Sign, yelling, yelling, yelling. January 23rd, I'll be in Sacramento, California. February 3rd, I'll be in Philadelphia, PA. February 5th, I'll be in New York City at Gramercy Theater. Go get them. And then February 6th, I will be in Boston, Mass. And February 23rd, I will be in San Jose, California. Go get them tickets. New dates coming very soon. Go get tickets at BlauComedy.com. B-L-A-U Comedy.com. Gabe, we're going back to the episode. God damn. Do you really think I should sell them? Yeah. I really? Think, oh, yeah. Maybe the Kobe really one you hold on to because that's, you know... That's True. that's yeah. like a holographic Charizard right there. That's the big boy shit. But I have there's I have three Ken Griffey rookie cards. Why so many? Honestly, I do not know. Can I have them? Uh, sure. I have a, three Ken Griffey rookie cards, a freaking Kobe Bryant rookie card, two Shaq rookie cards, and a Michael Jordan rookie card. Sell son them. You know what son. else appreciates in value? A house. Uh, actually, it doesn't. Rolex. I, the, the housing market. The housing market is just like any other market. You're going to be 97 yelling about this Ken Griffey card <laughs> like in this? a mental home. Yeah. Well, I'm not selling it. No, you're not going to sell it. I'm not selling it. It's going to so, go up. This is this is what I should do. And now that I'm thinking of it, I should look into um, what the average return on just riding the actual stock market versus the average return of the trading card market. And whatever <laughs> is there a trading card market? Yeah, it's just yeah, a yeah. bunch of people just DMing each other. Yo, what the fuck? What the fuck? But I think that's the market, like, because it's, it's it, this whole thing is like su supply and demand, right? Yeah. So it's just like, there's I would put it up extremely high price and then wait to get low balled. And if you see one that catches your eye, be like, all right, yeah, dude. I saw this Ken Griffey card for like fifteen for like fifteen k. You sold one or you saw it? No, I saw it sold on eBay for fifteen k. And you you saw that and you're like, nah, not right now. Well, because not in, hot enough. Because in my head, I'm like, right, but I could sell it or I could have diamond hands and fucking hold that bitch for another ten years, and all of a sudden that fifteen turns into forty eight. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like so, I'm. Well, so I'm. What, what about this? What if you sell these cards and you put that money all straight into the stock market? Well, that's what I'm trying to figure out. That What's could, a better market? Exactly. Because if I sell this and put it in put it in the stock market. It is like, this a financial like, podcast? It really turned How into it. the financial charts? What are we at? 24? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. How funny me, yeah, I, yeah. I just like... What would you do? I, I would sell right now, and I, who knows? There's probably people at home yelling at me, being like, yeah, you fucking idiots. Uh, I would sell right now, then I would invest that money in the stock market because the stock market is very trusted, steady. You're bound to always 
grow up what is it six to seven percent yeah it's like seven eight percent it's like you're bound to kind of like if you just put it in there it will make money inevitably baseball cards i I mean who's running that (laughs) maybe ken griffey senior is running that yeah is he dead well that's like when you guys were telling me about bitcoin there's nobody running it that's the biggest problem well i think that's actually the biggest is anybody running the cdc dude who what is what what is a CDC? Someone explain to me what a CD is. Where, it a hospital? Where is their location? Uh, they're based in Atlanta, I think. But but what is it? A hospital? I don't know. And who are these people that are telling? Them? How do they know? They go, oh, not ten days, five days. Dude, but they, me, they, say, they show your work. The thing is, show your work is great. They could also tell me to do anything. They could be like, you need to go down on your girlfriend seven times a week in order to cure COVID. I bet go. Well, fucking lickety lickety, let's go. But I just listened to it. Licking clits is fun. Who are these people out in these streets that are like, oh, I don't like fucking pussy See, licking? Every time you, you say that, you not sound like you, adult sound, fuck. you sound like a narc, dude. Because I remember the beginning of this podcast. It's like once you meet somebody, that's your first impression. In the beginning, you're like, I don't really eat pussy. I said that. What? Should I put in the clip? Put it in. I said I don't really eat pussy. Oh my, Michael. Actually, sucking it up like a gogurt. What's he you doing? You don't now? eat a lot. Whoa. <laughs> Hold on. Red flag, 2021, not eating. I'm sorry, DJ Khaled. What did you just say to me? Yeah, there's a there's some clip. It was right around the time where the girl came on well, the Patreon. Well, she says it. Oh, she, she said it. Well, she, no, she said, she said he does sometimes. I would like it more. That's what exactly what she said. I have it seared into my brain. <laughs> right. Right. So when you come on here and be like, who are these guys not looking pussy? That's true. It sounds like you're just- You know what? Go- I'm caught red-handed. <laughs> a bunch of sophomores <laughs> sitting in the back of a Scion TC and, and you're like, God, I fucking fingered so much this weekend. My fingers look like prunes. You would have thought I was in a jacuzzi all weekend. Michael, what did you do this weekend? Did you touch a female? No. I played Xbox. And then I fingered my Xbox. <laughs> no, I, I, I hear you. The CDC has a podcast. Talk. Is it Sif Socks? I feel no, like it's just them yelling for an hour. Like, oh, f- fuck! I they, just, hold on, they have a podcast? Yeah, it's called MMWR, Weekly COVID-19. These things. motherfuckers love acronyms. What if they had ad reads? I'd be pissed. It's just, it's all Moderna. Every ad reads Moderna. <laughs> Wait, Gabe, what did you tell us? Your friend didn't get invited to... Oh, yeah, they didn't get uh, invited to their family Christmas because they got the wrong booster. They, they got, got the Johnson Jane and Johnson, Jane. and their family wanted them to get Moderna. Hilarious. I didn't think Johnson Johnson was still. I don't even know if they have a selling booster. vaccines. They just double down on their original one. Yeah. Well, isn't that what all of them are? Johnson well, Johnson gets yeah, less of an amount. Johnson Johnson sells a mean baby oil. I'll tell you what. Isn't that crazy? Jack in my cock. First of all, baby oil. You can use it for anything. You can use it to cook a steak. Oh. Jack your cock. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I don't I don't know about that first one. Second one you could definitely jerk off with. There's some oil that I jerked off with in my sister's house that you can't jerk off with. It's Probably like the essential it's oils. like vegetable oil or something. You use vegetable oil? Yeah, I, I was your your boy was down bad. I needed to get this poison out. So, so hold on. Back yeah. to the common treasure chest. Yeah. What did you tell your mom? I just kept deflecting. I was very Trump. I was like, Mom, what are you even saying? Can you help me you get this shirt? You throw it at her. You're like, that's not, <laughs> that's not a stain on the carpet. You're a stain on the carpet. <laughs> yeah, just gaslighting my mom. <laughs> You're insane, Mom. There's nothing there. Help it's me bold. out. It's Why don't you fix this fucking place up for once? Yeah, you hot bitch. <sighs> it's calm. What? What? <laughs> I thought I heard something. Never mind. <laughs> that's, uh, do you think she knows? That it's come? Yeah. I honestly don't. Yeah. I know everyone's yelling. If it that, was near the bed, I could see that. You, do you not have photos of it? I mean, I could, I could literally text my brother right now to get some photos. Well, we we you brought photos one time, I think. But I didn't it wasn't bro- of the outside. I brought photos. I would like a sample of the wood. You know, when you're about to buy a carpet, they give you like a two by two inch mm-hmm. sample of that carpet. I would like to see a two by two of the wood. Guys, when I when I die, which is gonna be in seven years, because I'm gonna be eaten by a panther. I already had a dream. Panther. I already know this. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be a very successful comedian. I'm gonna go on safari because I have enough time, and uh, and I'm gonna get eaten okay. by a panther. Anyways, are you happy about that or sad? Death doesn't scare me. Kill me right now. <laughs> <laughs> this shit's too hard. I've already said this. I'm not gonna kill myself, but like, eh, it's cool that there's an option. I've said this before. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Is it like, do we really love this? <laughs> We're going down in the charts, guys. We can't. <laughs> 
Yeah, I, dude, it's so interesting. I have days where I'm like, I'm very thankful for everything I have. And, and I feel very blessed to be in an opportunity to do the stuff that I do. <clears throat> yeah. And then there's days where you just, you see somebody in their car alone smiling and you're like, oh, fucking T-bone that shit. <laughs> I will do that it. Ford Focus right I'll now. I'll do it. I'll do it. What is that? What is your brain? I, I, it's, is that a, it's, I think it's, it's just, anxiety ridden. It's just life, dude. It's yeah. just, it's just the day in, day out stresses of life. And the funny thing is you look up and you go, I got like 70 more years of this. Mm -hmm. Like we think that this is going to be, there's 70 more years of this. 70, 70 more years. Mm -hmm. I got to put my pants on <laughs> for 70 more years. Yeah, I do sometimes think like when I go to bed, I'm like, man, this shit again. Dude, bed. How many fucking eggs do I gotta make? Eggs for seventy more years. A lot. How many? How? I just want to know when the humans are gonna be upgraded. I don't want to sleep every night. I want a fucking USB C charger in my ass that I need two hours of sleep and I'm fully charged. Superchargers supercharge my life. Yeah, sleep's dumb. I hate being tired. Um, it's just so weird, dude. You just lay down and you're like, I I saw some it was like. You pretend to be asleep to yeah, fall asleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking deep. That's what you do in a relationship. You just pretend you love the person. <laughs> <laughs> How are you and your girl doing? All right. We're do honestly we're doing fucking phenomenal. Uh, she's back tonight. Oh, you're gonna have sex. Let me tell you a little secret. I might have the SEX in the CAR. I don't know. I can't wait. My well, girl. On the 405? Yeah, dude, let me tell you something. My girl's got a friggin' whatever it's called, a Fort. Vagina? <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you a secret. Women be gotten these things. Dude, the first guy who got some pussy, how did he <laughs> tell the village? I don't know. Hold on. I went down and I was like, there's something missing. Yup. And then I put my thing in that thing that I thought was missing. That ain't a pothole. Oh, God. Y'all ever have a pita? But I blew out a tire. God, yeah. I mean, the dude came and was like, like, yeah, because the first time someone put, like, no one, like a caveman. No, no one was like, it, put was, your... it was all instinct. Yeah. Well, that couldn't have been the first try. <laughs> like, you, I, he probably, like. He tried to fuck the armpit first. Yeah. Where's the first place you'd go if you didn't know vagina was a vagina? An eye hole. Think about if your girl didn't We're have back no up eye. In the charts. Think about if your girl didn't have no eye. I don't. Uh, weird. And not is deep. it weird? It's not deep. How do you know? I, An eye socket? Uh, How big's your cock? <laughs> about a contact lens? Yeah, bitch. Yeah, it's actually not so deep. Yeah. I mean, you put your. But it, it feels. It looks like it's pretty tight. You can just put the head of your PP in there. I guess. I'm gonna ask you a question. <laughs> If you're like full throttle, how many uh, how many pumps you got in you if you're not trying to think about baseball or Babe Ruth's hands? What about baseball cards? You should sell them. I think so. Yeah. <clears throat> so Do you I'm, have the cards with you? No. You left them? Yeah. I don't know. I, well, I don't know. Maybe I should have brought them. No, I left them. I would have brought it like at five. Most valuable. Yeah, but then I'd be tempted to sell. I think it's just better just But that's there. the point. Sell them. I, 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 guys, whoever's listening to who's like a, like a basketball, basketball, baseball card, uh, expert, whatever, please DM me. Just let me know. Cause I really, I really nah, don't they, know. They're, yeah. I do think that later on down the road, one of those cards is going to be like the holy. Yeah. That's my thing. And I'm going to be pissed that I sold it. Cause like right now I'm very grateful that I, that I'm, I'm like, I'm okay with, with money. So I don't, I mean, let How me much is in your bank account right now. $4.6 million. <laughs> okay. If you, uh, dude, this guy on TikTok, he just walks up to you and he goes, how much is in your bank account? That's an insane question to ask somebody. Also, if the person says, if the person says that their amount in their bank account is high, they're not wealthy. Well, oh, oh, well, they're, they're not, not, well, they're not, they're not stupid. Not, yeah, I mean, they yeah, are yeah. stupid. If they're like, oh, I, I have 1.6. Dude, you know those like old uh, TikTok videos about, you know, you're calling the bank and Wells Fargo. Like, you have, you have 649,000. Oh, right, blah, blah. right, right. Every single one of those, I'm like. You don't know. What are you doing? A real rich person would invest it. Dude, a real rich person has, buy 20, baseball cards. has 20K in their checking. Yeah. At the most. Oh, because the rest is invested. Yeah, because what's the point of having, like, it's just dead. Why is this a financial podcast all of a sudden? Uh, 
I don't know. Back to my question. <laughs> so if you're going full throttle, right? Yeah. If you're fully aroused and you're going full throttle and not trying to inhibit, how many strokes do you think you got? In 22. You? 22. That's yeah. a lot. Full we're, strokes we're or half strokes? as fast as possible? That's what I'm saying. You look like you're doing this scene in the, you look like, what's the name of the, Matt uh, McConaughey. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Wall Street. Yeah. I was trying to think, like 22 claps, if I'm doggy, ready to, is there any foreplay? Uh, j just enough to get you fully rocked up. I'm going to do some homework on that. Okay. I'm going to do some homework. I'm, I'm probably 12. No. Yeah. Slow? No, I mean, if, if I'm like, if it's like, I think slow, you can probably go three, just like oh, what a sensual slow? one, just like a, uh, oh, see, I'm good. It's like, it's sensual. I can last a long time. No, but like, like release all your tensions. Like you just, you're just really marinating it. You're just feeling it, all the feels. All right. You're just feeling the warmth. Boys to men playing. Boys to men playing. Lavender Boys essential oils. In the room. BBD. <laughs> But I'm just saying, like, if, if if things are all wetted up, yeah, and you're just going <laughs> slow, and you're just, just like the stroke is like a like a, I'm trying to think of like a time frame, like you know when you got to push a really heavy couch, yeah, like like maybe like half a foot, and you go yeah. like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's See, it's, one. It's, it's, uh, that doesn't do it for me. A slow Fast stroke Fast does it, boy. Yeah, because if, if, if I'm if I'm slow is the opposite. If, if I'm machine gun Kellyanne, <laughs> I got about. I'm telling you, I got about 12. And especially, what is it What is it about when a girl says, I'm Come? coming, that makes everything in my body go, yeah, me first, though. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just... I think it, you're just a piece of shit. No, no, but like... <laughs> I, I'm not trying no, 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 I know. to do it, but like, but there's something about it that's like so hot to me that I'm like, oh, well, it's my turn now. I, I think deep down you want to do it at the same time. or you, I really would love to do it at the same time. Well, I, I think you hear that, and then you're like... Um, it's like when a teacher goes, pencils up. You're like, all right. And you just throw a pencil in the air. Yeah, yeah. It's not like you take that last second and be like, huh. you just like, we're done. Yeah, I just, I, that, that's that's the problem with uh, sometimes going a little R-A-W, D-O-G. Sometimes. Bark. Hold up. Every time. The only reason I said sometimes is because we are sponsored by a condom company. <laughs> Is that your excuse? No, it's not. I go raw dog all the time. <laughs> AIDS isn't real, so. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I think we're, circ I mean, we're circling back to Michael being like, oh, I have so much, I ate so much pussy, pussy. Come on. Dude. That shit tastes like hibachi. Zero. Dude, you know what I had on Christmas night was hibachi. You had hibachi for Christmas? Yeah. Why? Well, because I was trying to, I was trying to be on my, uh, my Jew shit. I was trying to, you know, live up to the hype and get some uh, Chinese food. Oh, yeah. But everywhere was closed. Everywhere, or like they were just stopped taking orders, and we're looking up places. And then we were just kind of like hibachi. And then sure enough, uh, in the valley they had hibachi. It was open. Have you been to a hibachi restaurant? What's a what's hibachi? That's where they cook in front of you. Oh yeah, yeah shrimp really, in your mouth. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Have you been to a restaurant there lately? Uh, not lately. No. The clientele is uh, how do I say this? Poor. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> it just looks like the people, it looks like everybody there just left visiting somebody in county. Mm. A lot of neck tattoos. Well, hibachi traditionally <laughs> isn't like the nicest of foods. But it's so good. It, it's it, Well, uh, usually food that's so good is not, it's either so well, expensive or- the amount of or, butter they use is. Yeah. The guy had an ice cream scoop for butter. But you know what it made me think about is growing up, by the way, it was fire. Fucking, what was it called? I forget what it's called. I think it was literally just called hibachi. All right. <laughs> Anyways, Gabe cut it. <laughs> but, Hold on, what? What do you mean? What was so good? Just the meat? Well, the thing about like the, how they cook it, it's super fresh right there. I think if you get hibachi and you're like, oh, can I get the rest in a to-go box? And then you heat it up the next day. That's when you really realize you're like, oh, what am I eating? This right. is the bristle of a, a, of a golf cleat. I don't know what this is. Bristle is from a broom, right? 
Do I have? What's happening? You have COVID brain, I think. Well, I was thinking uh, gristle. 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 Gristle's. Why don't I'm why gonna name gristle, my son Gristle. That's fine. I'm going to name my daughter Hog Bitch. <laughs> Hog Bitch. Hog Bitch. Is that one word? Hi, we have a venti frappuccino for a hog bitch. It's actually Hog Beach, so thank you. Hog Bitch. <laughs> Oh, but but check this out. <laughs> you gonna try and sell me on hog bitch right now? Yeah, yeah. No. Listen to this, hog bitch Blaustein. Act like she's not gonna be a WWE wrestler. Hog bitch. Hog Blaustein? bitch Blaustein. HBB. She's not gonna drink her coffee. She's gonna eat the whole fucking cup. She's gonna throw shots of espresso in her eyes like clear eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, hold on, that clear eyes guy. Has he ever fucked? <laughs> that, I, do you know oh, that? oh, he's so old. I don't know. Maybe now he's old. Did like, you ever try the? Did did I guys smoke enough weed to try the eye drops that were like minty? Yeah, well, Rotos. Yeah, Rotos. Did drops. you ever try those? No, I was always a clear eyes guy. That shit works so good, for dude. Me. But there was this thing called Rotos. But they literally they they were like if you smoke weed, probably like maybe like two thousand seven, two thousand eight. I think they were like minty, and you put them in your eyes. But something about the mint, like you, it would fuck your eyes up. But it made it feel like your eyes were working more. Like you'd be high. And you'd put it on and you'd be like, it burns, but it feels so good. Oh, it like legit burns. Yeah, it wasn't pleasant. But what, what was the purpose of it being minty? Did like your no eyes idea. smell good? No, it, it. I don't even know if it was like quote unquote minty, but it just it just stung your eyes. But you felt like it was like, you felt like it was beating the redness in your eyes ass. I, I could, I could say, okay. I don't know, but those, those fucked you up. I, yeah, I had 20 fucking 27 vision after that bitch. You God, put wish, those in. I wish we could cut right now and have some, and I want to try it. I don't know if they still make them. What do you they, think about Listerine strips? I like them. Yeah, we, that was a huge thing in high school for They're us. Gone. Listerine strips? Why are they gone? Are they? I don't know. I'd take them. I like those uh, Altoids, the sour ones. Those are fun. Oh, yeah. R. Oh, yeah. Those yeah, make yeah, my yeah. mouth water. Mm. God damn. Mr. Wallace. Yes. Let me ask you a question. It answers. Do you like high quality food that only takes about. 30 minutes in the freaking kitchen? Or less. Or less. I like that stuff. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. then you better get HelloFresh. Hello, ding, 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 dong. Guess who's at the door? HelloFresh. What is HelloFresh? What well, is it, I dude? I will tell you. So yeah, well, essentially what they do is they send you like pre proportioned like so you don't, no measuring cups, no nothing. Nothing. Which is great. It's like you need, uh, I almost said a quarter ounce of mayonnaise. This is not drugs. That's so much mayonnaise. A quarter ounce? A quarter ounce is the most mayonnaise you quarter, could possibly get. A quarter ounce. No, I feel like there's a lot. Ounce? An ounce of like mayonnaise? No, because a shot is 1.5 ounces. Oh, in my head, I'm talking. I'm thinking about an ounce we of weed and weed. then... An ounce of mayonnaise is hilarious. Anyways, they don't give you that, but they give you like a package, exactly what you need. I'll tell you what, I'm a lazy guy. I don't really like to cook and I never cook and I, I, I'm i always kicking my behind for, for doing delivery, but this almost makes it exciting. Dude, I've been doing this for about a year now and it has saved my life in so many freaking ways. I live alone. I have, uh, I get like a bunch of them, like five recipes in a week. And you know what's amazing? Each recipe is for two people. So me, I have two meals per recipe. Yeah. It's incredible. So I wake up and I'm like, oh, what do I have? Eggs and bacon? No, I have a freaking Pork souffle. That's not even real. For breakfast? I, dude, I'd be eating weird shit for breakfast. All right. <laughs> dude, it's just incredible. Um, oh, also, date night? Super date easy. Night. It's a fun date night Buddy. activity. Yo, you you bring a girl over, and you cook her Hello Fresh. she's like, God damn. It's almost impossible to fuck it up. I mean, if you fuck up Hello Fresh, I mean, you shouldn't be allowed to vote. <laughs> But you know what you can do? What? Vote for a discount code. Where do you want to get a discount? I'll tell you. We're going to hook you up with God's discount because we love you so much. Go to HelloFresh.com slash SIFSOCK16 and use code SIFSOCK16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. And HelloFresh.com slash SIFSOCK16 and use code SIFSOCK16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. Goddamn. Anyways, what I was trying to say about hibachi. Uh, We're guys, still talking about hibachi? Yeah, my chef had ankle monitor. No, uh, <laughs> oh, I but, but it, it made me think this. Yes. This was a place that I've always loved. I'll always love hibachi till, till you know, maybe, you know, until I'm in my uh, mid 70s, maybe, might tap out then. But I was wondering, there were so many kids that are having their birthday party there. And then there's parents that are just like, like when you go somewhere for your birthday, do you think your parents are just like, fuck, we gotta eat a Chuck E. Cheese again? Like, at what point do you think you become, like, 
Because I think some parents are like, yeah, this place is great. But I know, like, now that I think back, my mom, every time I'd want to be like, oh, can we go to Soup Plantation? Or, uh, like, Hibachi, she'd be like, um, yeah, if that's what you want. Which is her way of being like, I can eat this shit. Yeah. I, yeah, I mean, I think... I think if it's a birthday party, I think the joy that the restaurant brings you, I think it's enough for them. Right. That can like, carry them through the pizza. Yeah. But like, if it's just like a Friday and you're just like, oh, I want to eat a Panera Bread. And she's yeah. like, I work at Panera Bread. Right. Then I guess it's I'm just problem. wondering at what point do you start looking at, do you stop looking at the restaurants you love and be like, I would not choose those as my first choice, but this is your birthday and you're six. So fuck it. Yeah, I think uh, I think that as I said before, I think the joy that the kid bring that the like, listen. I don't like to go to the fucking dog park. I no. I no, Whoa. It's not it's not inc- dude. Everyone there you is a do? fucking weirdo. You get a cat. Like, no, All right. I'm allergic to cats. The only cat I've ever liked is Pluto. That's good. Literally, not joking. Good it, cat. I would kick every other, dude. The, the the time I took I took her, I didn't take her out. That's a dog. The time I fed and and. Yeah, this one, uh, <laughs> I always want to say take out. I didn't take out your freaking cat. I fed your cat, and it was just so loving. Yeah, he's like, people, what's up? He's like, what's up? It's I good. think he licked me. Damn. Yeah. He'd be on that freak shit. Yeah. But I, I, I don't know. Because I just remember growing up, there was a place in my hometown called Texas Cattle Company that we used to go. They're not there anymore. That sounds so good. But as a kid, I was like, this is fire. And my favorite thing was they would bring you like popcorn before the meal. And oh. as a parent, you're like... That's that's what you get excited about, motherfucking popcorn. I can make this shit at home. I, I guess to my point, I was just wondering, like, at what point are parents just like, this is mid, this is trash. I think they always know it's trash. Yeah. I think maybe the question, and maybe I'm just uh, asking a question off your question. It's like, at what age do you tell your kid to fuck off? <laughs> do you know what I mean? I want to go to Outback. We're not going to Outback. Yeah. I. Um... You still live at home. You're 31. <laughs> yeah. At what age are you kicking your kid out? If my I'm, kid, if my kid tries to come back after college, that's the you're getting the boot, the boot, the boot. But, I mean, but, but the tricky part is they go, yeah, I'm just gonna do a summer here until I find out where I want to work. F- you have four years to find out where you want to work. The only thing I'm on board with, if my kid comes back and says, I'm gonna take this next year and a half to two years, save up the money that I was gonna pay for rent and use that on a down payment for a house. I'm fine with that. Okay. Let me see the receipts, but I'm fine with right. that. What if your uh, your what hog bitch? What if hog bitch? <laughs> what if hog bitch comes home? No. What if your daughter comes home and she's like, "I have a job that pays 200k out the gate." Yeah. But it's in our hometown. Okay. Can I live at home? You have 200k. <laughs> Get an apartment, hog bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but what if she's scared of living alone? Get a dog. Get she's mace. Uh, I guess I'm trying to say is, would you be like, what if she? I just want to figure it out. What if I don't like it here? What if I? You don't Do, think? You, here's the I'm, thing. You, listen, you, you get that connection now. I feel like you're like a dad who didn't want a dog. Then you get the dog. You're like, I fucking love the dog. Blah, 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 blah. Put peanut butter on your lips and go to town. I. Th- <laughs> I think I know like my mentality when I was 18, and the last thing I ever want to do is be back home. Right. Well, but think about that. Like, how many friends did you go through high school with? All of them. And all of them were like, yeah, dude, we're fucking, we're moving to LA. We're starting a CBD clothing brand. All of them. And then you go back home and you're like, what have you been up to? They're like, yeah, I'm just at home, just living at home. Just, you know, just, uh, you know, trying to figure it out. And you're just like, all right. I think, to, and, th- and this might just be tough love and you might be right. I might have a kid and my, my whole uh, perspective of this might change. But like, I think at some point you need to be like, you're an adult. You're 21, 22. You're out of college. Mm-hmm. You have a job at Soup Plantation. You're making whatever. Go get an apartment you can afford. If you need some help on some bills or whatever, I got you. But like, you need to start. I, I'm I'm a I'm a mother bird, and I'm pushing you out the fucking nest. Okay. And if you can fly, you can fly. And if you can't, you're going to hit the ground and Speaking hog bitch birds, is dead. Here's the birds and the bees talk. Like, I'm 23. Well, here's the thing. Yeah, so, look at your face. You're fuck. <laughs> what age are you giving the birds and the bees talk? I'm not going to do it. Did you get the birds and bees talk? I did. I never got it. Have you never heard this joke? That I, oh, yeah. It's the, the, one of my oldest jokes in stand The limo, like, right? Yeah, my dad compared his dick. Literally, he goes, uh, <clears throat> he goes, your mother has a garage and I have a limousine. And then there's a lot more to that joke and I'll save it in case I ever put it on a 
special uh, who knows but my yeah just yeah, in I never, the car never got it so aggressive it's also like isn't it it's just very funny that i never got it like tell me let but, me know but did it ever was your dad ever like you you fuck right and you're like oh i fuck oh i fuck oh i be eating cooch um <laughs> i think i don't know i don't know if there was ever like a I, can mormons go down on each other they should be able to. <laughs> what the hell is the difference between going down on a girl and eating a pastrami sandwich? That's an SAT question. <laughs> uh, but no, I never, I never got to talk. But it, it was always um, my dad and I's relationship was always very like kind of wild in that regard. Right. Just always just kind of talking wild to each other. But I don't remember like when we weren't to when we. So were. who told you how it worked? You find it out on your own? Do you have a cousin? I just watched, dude. I watched porn way early. Yeah. And I was like, okay. HBO or? Uh, no, my but oh no no my first friend Tony Casada. He had the Spice Channel. What? Yeah. It was just a Spice Channel? Yeah, just fuck people fucking and like Eleven real. herbs and different spices. Turmeric ass now. pussy. <laughs> fucking. What? All, I don't know. He said Spice Channel, turmeric. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so sex, they would be doing the sex and we'd all be around rock hard. I've already said this a hundred times. It's just so weird. And when, then you like, stole the DVD. Well, no, that's a different one. Okay. It wasn't DVD still because it was a channel. So that was my first experience. That was my first like sex talk. I was like 10. Mm -hmm. just watching people fuck and i'm like oh there it is there it is that's how you do it yeah i did i ever tell you i think i told you i didn't know how long you were supposed i thought you were supposed to have sex for like a uh like a period of time like i didn't know that it was like once you came you're done funny i thought you just put it in there because my my neighbor growing up was my best friend and he told me he could come <laughs> i was like i didn't believe him <laughs> hold on. I, was, I was like i didn't believe him hold on hold on your friend told you that he could come yeah and I was like, I don't believe you. And then I gave him a, a, a plastic spoon. I was like, do it on this spoon. And he wouldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't do it. What? And then, and then he starts going. Don't say this story like it's regular. <laughs> you just gave. You, you have a, a splash zone outside of your closet. You just gave come from your friend a fucking ice cream sample spoon from fucking Baskin Robbins. And told him to come on it. Yeah, because I wanted to see what come looked like. I didn't have it yet. He was older. I was a late bloomer. Even weirder. How old? Twenty <laughs> one. <laughs> no, he was a year older than me, but he was he was the type of guy who probably had a mustache in like seventh grade. But why'd you give him a spoon? Why don't you just like tell I, him to I, come I, on the ground and go look at it, like you're an archaeologist looking for cum rocks? I don't know. Or like the people in prison, like what does this look like? They're like, yeah, new fucking childhood. <laughs> I didn't know. I just remember being like, dude, I didn't know you could do that. And I was just like, did he explain to you what cum was? Did you even know what it was? I I knew. He, it was like a guy who's seen Bigfoot, but I didn't believe him. I was like, explain it to me. Okay. How how does it come out? What does it do? Was the Dude, cum I was fascinated because he he had a girlfriend in eighth grade, and they used to fuck. <laughs> no, I, they didn't. I swear on my life. Eighth grade fucking. I swear on my life. Dude, he was like the man. Damn. Eighth have, grade fucking. That's early. Mm, he might have actually now that I think about it I think he did he might have been a sophomore I think he was a sophomore okay 10th grade I remember when I was so 11 early. I was trying to fuck because him. his girlfriend at the time lived down the street what did I miss something pivotal <laughs> sell your baseball cards anyways <laughs> I just remember his girlfriend lived down the street and they, like we were all hanging out and then they went upstairs for like 20 minutes and I was like what in the middle of the daylight I was like you can do that did you go to the door and listen? I sniffed the carpet after. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I didn't know what they were doing until they came back. And then he was like, <laughs> and I was like, what? And that's when I knew that he could fucking ejaculate. <laughs> Dude, it is the ejaculation whole process when you don't know what it is. You're like, what? I think the first ejaculate, is that, the, is that a male period? Like the first, you know, a, a girl has her first period. She's all freaked out. She's like, oh my God, there's blood on the oh, carpet. The first I was time pumped. I, oh, of course. Because I was a late bloomer. So all my friends were doing it. All my friends already went to Burning Man. And I was like, let me go. Let me get a, a, a festival pass. How like, old were you when you I was when in eighth grade, I think. Eighth grade? I came in eighth grade on my own chest looking at fucking porn baseball cards. <laughs> Sell them. <laughs> I think my dad threw them away. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you were eighth grade? Eighth grade, either seventh or eighth. I remember I was at the lake that day. We got back from the lake and nobody was home. And I was like, it's time to fucking ride something else, baby. 
Yeah. God, man. Fuck was, these jet skis. <laughs> yeah. It's on my back. And Do girls come off jet skis? Because you know how they come off a horseback ride? Do they get Oh. <laughs> oh, girls be rubbing lits <laughs> on them goddamn selves. Yeah. Dude, horse girls? Girl was, Why do you think horse girls are always so goddamn relaxed? Wow. Yeah. I was going to say, my girl was just giving out, like, like she has, like, a nine-to-five oh. job, but she was doing, like, she was, like, doing, like, horse training on the side because a friend used to ride horses with Offord. No wonder. Nay, nay. See, biscuit. Let me Get tell out you, that bis dick. Bis quick. Is she fucking a horse? That's what I was going to say. She's cheat. Is that her side man? I don't think so. Wow. Does she still do it? She's done it twice. Oh, let me tell you something. She's done it more than that. Yeah, they're going on dates. She's going to Six Flags with a horse tomorrow. But dude, you ever like, my cousin was a horse girl. The one I kissed. <laughs> <laughs> you know that picture of you for Halloween, you just dress up as a horse and you're like, oh no. Whatever will ride me now. But she was a horse girl. I know. Yeah. What? She's she's a pleasant lady now. Weird. Like horse girls are just I think they're a little weird because they come early. I don't is this backed up with scientific proof? Gabriel, bring it up. <laughs> but all I'm trying to say is Yes, sir. I remember I think I asked too many questions about come that he was probably like you don't even know what the fuck you're talking about, dude. Oh. He's like, how? He's like, how long do you, he? He hit me with a uh, like an SAT question, a, a trick question. Uh oh. I say? Oh shit. He goes, how long are you supposed to have sex for? And I look. I need to do this into a stand a bit. I thought it was 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you just docked for 24 hours, <laughs> not even straight pumping. I thought you just plugged it in overnight like an iPhone and then just chilled. That was that was sex. Yeah, and then he laughed, and I was like, uh, 12 hours, seven hours, one hour? And he never told me. And that was my first birds and the bees talk. And then I think I just watched porn. I was like, oh, yeah. I mean, three you gotta, minutes. You got to tell him. Like, that's kind of fucked up for him to ask you the question. Well, it was man. probably hilarious to hear the, somebody be like, 24 hours? 20? Can you imagine if that was actually sex? Like, you would have wasted an entire day. Oh, my God. People will be burning weeks at a time. Just down. I can't come into out. work today. I'm having you have sex. An out of office email? I'm out of office. Just I'm in the pussy. In the pussy email. I can't talk right now. Yeah. I'm in vagina. I'm in a different kind of cubicle tonight. It's warm and wet, hopefully. <sighs> God damn. God damn. Hey, all you podcast listeners of the number 12 top comedy podcast on Spotify. Wild. We could do an ad for a company right now, but we're going to do an ad for ourselves. I like it. You, you know, know why we should? Because it's our podcast. Self-promotion, entrepreneurship. Guys, we have a Patreon. We do. And you might have heard us mention it before, but I don't think you understand. For mm -hmm. $5 a month, you get four bonus episodes. A full one hour, no commercial breaks, straight recorded heat. Heat, Flame, hot. gasolina, delivered to your eardrums, video and audio. Just, I mean, that's it's like a little more than a dollar a week if you think about it. Dude, $5 a month. That's literally freaking less than a cup of coffee at Starbucks. For four extra episodes, yeah. one hour each, ad-free, and access to the Discord, Discord, which is fucking flames, freaking building and community. You can talk about famous episodes with each other. Yeah, speaking of uh, catalogs, uh -huh. nobody said it, but I am. There's epi You get all the episodes. So all you can start from motherfucking day one on that bitch. So this, th how many episodes do we have on there, Gabe? 115. Holy 100, shit. You get access to 115 extra episodes plus an extra episode every single Friday. Yeah. And, and there's we, some good episodes on it. Dude, my favorite is the one where we interviewed a girl that like Michael was like, oh, you know, I lay down the pipe. And then she was like, does he or does he not? Yeah, that was really you scary know, because I did not girl. know what she was going to say. Yeah, you interviewed just like, and this was this was single Michael. This is this is mid pandemic Michael. Oh, this was this was wild me. This will fuck a deep dish Michael. Oh, I still will. Yeah, I would too. And we interviewed Gabe. Gabe's Gabe sexy faces on here. Yeah. And we interviewed your girlfriend. My girlfriend. And so, soon enough, we're gonna interview your girlfriend. She just doesn't know it yet. She does not know it. She will. But we're gonna do it. We'll do it. She's gonna have to wear a bag over her head. It'll be a hidden camera show. But. Oh yeah. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, you're on the podcast. Hey, you're punked. 
<laughs> and sh- all right. <laughs> Promo code punks. All right. Anyways, that's enough of us promoting it. Michael, where can people find this lovely? They can go on patreon.com backslash stiff sucks pod. That is patreon.com backslash stiff sucks pod. Or, or does Patreon have an app by chance? Oh, buddy. They, they got, sure do. They sure do. And it's a good app. You can, you know, you can listen to it just like as an Apple podcast. Yep. Fuck Apple. Just like a Spotify podcast. There you you can close your phone. You can lock it. Um, I have a, a Patreon subscription to Stiff Socks and also some other ones. And it's, it's, it's a, uh, it's nice. I, I use it like any other streaming platform and there's comments on there. So people can like comment on the episodes, which you don't get with, uh, you know, Spotify or Apple. Yeah. So you really um, feel like the community sense. It's really nice. Builds a community. Um, and uh, it, it helps. It supports us, which is nice. It helps us keep the lights on. So go again. It to, pays for Gabe. There you go. Pays Gabe's for Gabe. not cheap. Hey. Gabe's not cheap. So go on Patreon.com. Batch slack. Stiff socks pod. Go do it. Love you guys. Or else Gabe will sell his body parts. Probably could. All right. I would. I'd, I'd watch. God damn. Wow. What's Wet Wet doing right now? <laughs> Hopefully she's dead. Listening. <laughs> She's listening. I don't think so. Doesn't she listen? I don't know, honestly. I can't remember. Well, she scarred me so much. Let's get on the Patreon. Hear, <sighs> hear me out. She interviews your current girlfriend on the Patreon. Do we want to break the internet? That would break <laughs> the internet. <clears throat> I don't know what would happen. If we had Wet Wet on the Patreon, that would be that would be a moment of the show. That would be a moment for the show. I would love to hear the origins of Wet Wet. Like I know your side, but I yeah. want to hear what Wet. Side. I'm actually, I, I'm very curious. I could see. I think she would do it for real. Really? Yes, I really do. Th- I, I actually, I, I, I would bet a lot of. I would bet my basketball cards that she would do it. I don't know. She would do it. That she's gonna more. listen to this episode because she listens probably, and she's gonna say, "Give me all your basketball cards, and I'll do it." No. And she's gonna sell them for seven dollars. All that's wrong. Would can you go to a, a card shop and like evaluate it and be like, how much for this? I think you have to. There's something called a, a, P, a PS10 or PSA10, something like that. It's like Fuck. it's essentially like a grading system. If you can get your card graded at like a PS10 or a PSA10, I can't what remember. About a PS5. Mm, you know, you know, so I, right I, I I tweeted this, but like you know all those fucking things like me or a PS5. Always a PS5. Always. One nut, one <laughs> nut or a PS5. What do you? F- I hate all that shit. You think right now if your girlfriend was like me or a PS5? Oh well, that's different. I'm talking oh, about okay. these freaking whore bags <laughs> that are like wearing like Santa hats with oh, and the caps is and me yes. or a PS5. Always a PS5. You're a horrible person. <laughs> There's no way. You all right, any- hear me out. She yes, goes me or this Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card. Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card. Me or this Brian Scalabrini last season her, card. Her. <laughs> I told you somebody listens. Somebody who listens to this podcast is related to Brian Scalabrini, dude. And they I, told me at a show. I was like, get him. Oh, on on dude. I watched Scalabrini uh, one time on fucking TikTok, and now it's just it's just my TikTok is inundated with Scalabrini. Really? Yeah. You know he. You know he used to have a show in two thousand four where mm-hmm. he played. You know, there's a sh- there's a YouTube show, or whatever ago, like Average Joes versus Pros, whatever the fuck. Yeah. Um, but Skylar Breen did that show before that show, and he would he picked. I actually saw this on TikTok, but he picked uh, like average people to play basketball against, and just fucking murdered them. He was already in the league, or no? He was just out, I think. But the whole idea is like, oh, this guy, I could beat this guy's fucking average dude. Guy named mm. Skylar Breen was. You know, two hundred best player, or whatever the fuck. Mm-hmm. Just and he just f- w- w- killed him. Do you see him when he played the high school kid? I think I did. Funniest thing in the world. I think I did. Funniest thing in the world. Eleven zero. Yeah. Just funny. Smashed. Yeah. And Scott Brady at that point was forty one or something. Yeah, I mean, some of that shit you're just like, just it's wired in you. <sighs> yeah, I need to be um selling your cards. Do you think, uh, Gabe? Where are you at? Do you think I sell? Yeah, absolutely. Fuck. I mean, oh, it's so like, fast. Yeah, I feel like there's like. Who, it's a trading card market. Has it always been going up? Like, who knows? Is it or is this just a moment is where it's like a everyone baby, baby lo- thing? Exactly. Oh, that's a good. Last thing you want to do is be yelling about Ken Griffey Jr. and everyone's like, it's not an NFT. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Or like, you know, I mean, also like same thing with like game stuff where it's like, oh, I could sell now and like do okay, or it might just keep going up. One day it doesn't. It doesn't go up forever. Not everything goes up forever. You know what I mean? Whoa. You know, one day's our cocks aren't gonna work. Speaking of going up forever, that's sad. That's a real bummer. One day. 
One day you're gonna be doing the SEX and look down and it's not gonna work. And you're like, oh my God, I have to take a B12 pill, a fucking vitamin D and a goddamn Cialis. Or I'll do it. Blue Chew, yeah, I'm doing it. Blue Chew. Yeah. Promo code socks. Yeah, do it. How is the promo code, is it, is it socks? How is it not stiff? Yeah, what the hell? Stiff! Should we jump into it? Yeah, let's get sock into talk. some sock talk. We have a submission here from Luke. And Luke says, uh, this is by far my funniest hookup story. Oh. Uh Uh-oh. I'm a college sophomore, and I live in a dorm on campus. I had this one sneaky link that I would hook up with almost every weekend last semester. What did he call it? Sneaky link. Sneaky link? Mm -hmm. That's kind of just the terminology. A These sneaky link. TikTok kids be saying. <laughs> sneaky link. It's side piece. Fucking well, I mean, I, I understand the context. Slam a Rooney. Uh, slam peas. No uh, one's ever said Slam Rooney. <laughs> I, I said it once. Slam a Rooney? Yeah, she didn't come back ever again, but yeah. Sneaky link. <laughs> I like sneaky links, like a lynx cat, pussy. S- sneaky link. Mm. Sneaky link. It does sound like some James Bond shit. This is my sneaky link. She's like, I'm Rebecca. Again, we're my married. <laughs> <laughs> Did, did you ever have any friends growing up that were like, this? Ha- maybe this is an oddly specific thing, but there was this guy in my frat who like, he was hooking up with this girl and he'd always like downplay, but like, nah, nah, she's just, she's just a weekend thing. She's just a slam piece. Nah, I would never, I would never. And now he has two kids with her and is like in love, married with her. Dude, one of my good, yes, I know exactly. One of my good friends. I think that's every. Yeah. Well, one of my good friends literally in high school, it like married the town whore. <laughs> <laughs> everyone knows did he know yeah <laughs> it was like public now it was on like the washington post.com like everyone knew everyone you know what i mean and he was like i guess he just does she have a rookie card <laughs> 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 but like he would go out of his way to be like nah she ain't it i only invite her at, over at 3 a.m on a saturday uh, well, but he would like, go out of his way to be like she ain't shit and then it was like I got to marry my best friend. But it is funny because since he went out of his way, it says to me that he definitely knew he liked her. Right. When you go out of your way like, fucking Rebecca's coming over again. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Huh, she ain't Maybe shit. Maybe it's just like a college frat guy thing. It's like, whoa, this guy has feelings for a woman? Yeah, it is weird. When you're that young, you're like not allowed to have feelings. Maybe it's well, changed now. you have now. a girlfriend who's like, dude, you're, fu- you're, you're, and he was a president of our frat. Oh, you can't so, do that. So everyone be like, dude, you're the president. You can just fuck so much. What are you doing? God. I mean, he Frat can't, mentality so he can't have feelings. He's got to run for re-election. He's going to fuck up the midterms. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, he said, uh, so he had the sneaky link that he would hook up with almost every weekend last semester. Sneaky link? What's that? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, she came what over at like. dementia. She came over at like 1 a.m. one night for some coitus. Uh, I was a little drunk that and sucks. way too confident, and <laughs> while she was riding reverse cowgirl, I tried to transition into 69, and I accidentally threw her off my bed. It's a, oh, no. <laughs> it's a dorm bed, so I have it slightly lofted, and she fell a good four to five feet before oh, landing nice. bare-ass cheek on my cold tile floor. Fuck. I made sure she was okay, and after five minutes, we started fucking again. After we finished, she said it was the most embarrassing thing that has happened to her, and I haven't seen her hurt from her since. Funny is if after she went, and his name is John Cena! <laughs> Would have been dun, funny. Dun, dun, dun. But injuries could there you go. That yeah, I mean that's uh forty five feet. That's right on right on the coccyx bone. It's a problem. Yeah. She fell off, right? Oh yeah. yeah. <clears throat> the transition back to fucking's hilarious. Yeah. Like you're putting an ice pack on the ass and then all of a sudden your fingers start sliding down. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I, I think it was just one word. Just like so He was the one who, who <clears throat> instigated doing it again, for sure. There's no way she's like, well, gotta finish. Let me just throw my hip back into place. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I think I think it's sort of probably like slow, like kisses on the neck, on the ear, just to like kind of test waters to see if she's back into it. Maybe. Okay. She's like, oh my god, my hip hurts, and he's like, oh, can I kiss it to make it better? That's. And then just slowly moved on over. She's like, that's my tit. You said it hip? rhymes with hip. <laughs> <laughs> what if you fell on on her ass and you started eating an ass to make it better? It's a possibility. I Reverse cowgirl. Yeah. Overrated position, if you if you no, ask me. That's fine. My dick's not big enough for certain positions. <laughs> not reverse cowgirl. Reverse cowgirl. You you gotta have you gotta have at least you know seven inches. I think for for her. How high is she going? 
Reverse cowgirl is hilarious. Is she on a sea biscuit? Well, that's what I'm saying. Reverse cowgirl no, is can... hilarious because it, it insinuates that you're the horse with a horse cock, which is not correct <laughs> for all of us in this what room and everyone listening. Seahorse? Me? Yeah. You know seahorse dudes have babies? Do they? Yeah. Progressive. I love it. Yeah. And then they, they spray them out of their cock. Oh, I don't yeah. know if it's out of their cock, but they spray a bunch of them. Yeah. And I read too that they eat them. All right. They eat some of them. It's like, get some pistachios. Why, <laughs> Why are you eating the babies? Weird. It is weird. And then we see them at a pet and we're like, oh my God, seahorses. Seahorses are And they're monsters. like, oh, fucking shoot babies all over you. Uh, what do you mean? That she, it's, can, well, she can also ride you, but kind of just grind around. Yeah, but the grind around is like, de <laughs> she's definitely letting you know you're a small cock if she's grinding. That's not what she that wants to do. feels good. Well, that sounded like you were trying to convince yourself. It, I it, have a small penis. I know, but it feels fine. She wants to fucking get some action. She wants a little bouncy bounce house. If you could have one position the rest of your life, what would it be? Wow. I mean, I'd have to go missionary. I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't like, uh, I don't like fucking what, uh, reverse the, the whore. <laughs> What's it? What's it called? I literally kept blanking out. Were you? Were you? <laughs> no, where she's doggy. The doggy? Yeah. See, that's my doggy. You know, people are like, "What's your last meal ever?" I'd be a spicy tuna roll. My last meal, my last position ever would be doggy. Your last position of your entire life, so you just never look at the person in the eyes. <laughs> you're a fucking. You're a savage. No, there's just something about doggy that just gets me going. You know. Where well, you're just in there and you're like, I'm in the fucking cockpit. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. A vagina. Plain. <laughs> <Cock. laughs> <laughs> I'm doing that cockpit, but is it not a cockpit? I mean, it kind of is. I think vagina. Let me fly the plane. I think vagina is a saddle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. Vagina's right. a saddle, and oh. you're the fucking little guy on top. What's his What's his position? Uh, the jockey. Yeah, and you're the jockey, and you're fucking riding. You're that riding guy. it. So, you're fucking it. Oh, I see what you're saying because a horse. But it, she, I'm not saying she's attached to the horse. I'm saying the a saddle. <laughs> <laughs> so you're selling sell my baseball cards? How much Omicron is in your brain? <laughs> <laughs> You'd fuck a saddle. You would ride a saddle. I'm you not saying I would. I'm not saying I would. I'm saying that it's sort of like that when you're fucking. It's the same like mo movement. Motion, but you're not yeah. inserting. I say motion, yeah. Yeah, but how how is vagina a cockpit? Because it's a hole. In, like think about a cockpit of a plane. It's a hole, and then a guy goes in it. Yeah, but you're fully in it. <laughs> yeah. So how does that make sense? Or do you think the pilot's halfway in it? No, but your really cock is not fully in it. You're half Martinelli's? You got more cock in there. <laughs> is there more in there than I'll all you got? Out. I'll tap out. But is there more? I think there's more. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. What do you mean? I think there's more in there. Yeah. Like, more space? No, no there's, there's more, more inches actual, in there. Yeah. What? How do you get it out? What? You got to snake oh. charm it out. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying when I'm all the way in, is there, am I hitting the wall? I'm saying is I think there more space in the garage. I think there's more. You got more dick inside of you. Are you fucking yourself? Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. You don't ever. <laughs> <laughs> How do you get? Now I see. Now the snake charmer. Very funny. I get it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I think there's more in there. There's a tube in there. Is there? <laughs> I mean, it, I don't think your dick starts right where the the skin meets the body. You know what's fucked up is like isn't isn't your pee pee just like skin and blood? So like. Why can't I just be like more blood? Do you know what I mean? Like, why can't I just like is is that is that what a what a what a um a penis larger does? Pump more blood in there? I think so. I think so. Uh, so uh, your dick is actually twice as long as you think it is. Half Shit. of it is in the body. I knew it. I'm measuring from inside the body. Hold on. Half? Damn. How big are you? Seven inches. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, one time, one time, I'd like to take my pants off and a girl would be like, damn. <laughs> That's never happened. Not even close to it. Not even, not even like a woo. Not, nothing. 
Yeah. But what are some compliments that she says without complimenting you that you take as a compliment? Like she's been on top of me before. She goes like, oh, fuck, I can like feel it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In my like stomach. Can I get that on paper? Yeah, write it in my will. <laughs> um, A will? <laughs> why is it, why ain't called a nick? Who like, will? Will you take all my shit when I'm gone? Oh, oh, that makes sense. I don't think it's that's true. it. A will just be called IOU. Are you making a bitch sign a goddamn prenup? If a girl's smart, she'll make you sign a prenup right after you come. Mm. You'll sign anything away. Yeah, when but I, I die, you but, can have my fucking anything but, you want. But generally, a girl doesn't want you to sign a prenup. Because in California, you get fucking fucked. You get really? fit, Oh, my God. The divorce laws in California are nuts. Oh. Like, you get half gone. Dude, what's the name? Johnny Carson... Broke up, uh, broke up, divorced his wife. She got half. Johnny Carson, at the height of Johnny Carson, his wife got half. Yeah, Bezos. Half. Here you go. Jesus. You didn't mail one box, bitch. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, all right, guys, want to do a secret talk? Let's do yes. it. It's the longest episode in the world. Um, this says, uh, <laughs> I'm going to air out my hometown's dirty laundry. Let's go. Um, a girl that I knew used a frozen hot dog as a dildo, uh, <laughs> but her... <laughs> Not a bratwurst? I feel like those are so much more girthy. When she was done, did, it, like, what, did you cook it? So uh, her thing, this, this says her thing got so hot, she thawed the hot dog <laughs> and half of it broke off inside her. Uh, now that's what I call a pig in a blanket. God, <laughs> funny. It got so hot it broke off. Yeah. Here's the thing. I've never Everyone's done disgusted that. by this. I would. I would fuck. I would be like, let me see how warm it can get up in there. That sounds cozy. That sounds like a hot cocoa on a cold winter day. That's funny. That that doesn't. That sounds like a fucking air fryer temperature. Like that sounds hot. Well, you we already know it's probably. What is it like? A hundred and. Oh, but you're saying maybe she has like a fever pussy. It's like 105. She got, like got a fever. She's got it. She got a COVID clip. Uh, damn. Frozen? Frozen? Frozen to thaw. Frozen. Wouldn't that be the opposite of what a girl wants up in the hoo Yeah, that's too cold. Who's calling me? What a freaking episode. Ups and downs and lefts and rights. We learned a lot about each other. And that's why this podcast brings people together. Yes. It's about knowledge. It's about growing. It's about interfacing with society. As in a positive fashion. What are you saying? I'm running for president. This is a finance podcast. Yeah. Sell your baseball cards. Sell my baseball cards. Coochie makes hot dogs warm. And we're 12 uh, biggest podcasts on Spotify. So someone, I don't know what happens. We get the fuck a birthday cake online. Something. <laughs> Guys. A birthday cake online? <laughs> That's just a MacBook Pro screen. <laughs> Guys, uh, this is my side links. Guys, I'm out. This is the show. Thank you so much for providing knowledge and love. Guys, we love you. See you next week. Bye-bye.